guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode four <clears throat> of Slow Start. I said Slow Start. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it! Of Slow Loop. I am so sorry. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Like I said, I knew, I knew, I knew there was going to be one day where I was going to be like, yeah, like, Slow Start is, I mean, Slow Loop is actually called Slow Start, Deja. No. <laughs> oh. But it wasn't. Oh, we're not getting an opening today. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, we're getting that type of opening. Okay. <laughs> and then, you know, Koharu's not going to pull anything. Nothing. Mm -mm. He already just got that touch. Poor baby. Mm -mm. Hmm? <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> well, she's just doing it to be nice, babe. I mean, seriously, Koharu, like... If you didn't know how to fish, you probably would have been bored with it. Like, <laughs> well, yes, that's cute, but not in your usual clothes. Me, yeah, you don't want that.
Right, well, hold on. Are the black ones the cheap one? <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm hungry now. Same. I I came home and I ate snacks, but I haven't had dinner. I may eat those egg rolls. <laughs> would I look good even though like once again I'm not a big fish eater not only because the fact is I'm plant based or anything but even before that I barely ate fish I only eat <laughs> I only eat shrimp even now Ooh, did you hear that crunch? Ooh. Stop. Mmm. God, I'm hungry. With the fact that their parents are home, they just look like they're living together, and I can't. It's so cute. Exactly. And so, of course, like, yeah, Koharu wanted to be with someone who, you know, spend time with her and eat with her. <laughs> right? I mean... <laughs> on your face baby yeah, so much better huh
apple pie. See, this is why I can't watch anime on an empty stomach, because if they eat, uh... Oh, oh, damn. And how long were you in the car for, baby? Oh! Yeah, and plus, you know, hey, if your parents get a divorce, you'll be alone all the time. Would you really be okay with that? But it's cute, though. Damn, dead. Like, <laughs> it's tan. <laughs> and the free food, you know, because that's the big reason why everybody comes. She's so adorable. <laughs> well, yeah.
Aww. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute. Yeah, I mean, hey, he's awesome in his own special way. I'm going back to eating. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Hey, at least they tried, though. Basically. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you know, extra money is not that bad. Just saying. Kohara would be depressed too because like I mean seriously I would want that outfit <laughs> not hard. Oh, Futaba. Oh, you're adorable. Mm -hmm. 
About the the uniform? <laughs> oh, Futaba. Baby. Poor thing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably because of the fact is it seems like Utaba wants to fish, but because fishing is a masculine dominant thing of course she feels some type of way it's kind of very similar to where okay <laughs> you do especially in like the anime community when i joined in it was very male um dominant for anime reactors same thing for before i did anime reactions like i did a whole month um and of course, y'all ain't ever gonna see these videos because they're gone from the channel, <laughs> from my first channel. This episode we will never see the light of day again. Um, I did videos on Kingdom Hearts. I did like a lot of videos on Kingdom Hearts and such. Um, they were good and such, but the thing on the news side for Kingdom Hearts as well was very male dominated. And so when a girl came in wanting to kind of be like most of these guys it was a little harder now i mean it, it depends on like what you're what you're trying to do between anime reacting and um maybe videos on gaming and such it depends on like really your personality and such if you you have like a 15 not even yeah 15 20 seconds maybe even 30 seconds to kind of entertain someone and if you don't really bring it people will move on from you most of my videos from 2016 to now only have been found like maybe due to the show that i've watched getting popular and such speci like specifically i remember when i did both magical girl rising project and keijo and my reactions to Magical Girl Rising Project would always come out either the day the show came out or sometimes the following day because at the time when I was editing in my house and using my old computer or really my family computer um it took almost like all day to edit <laughs> now it takes for me to edit any of my videos like I can get it done like in an hour and 30 minutes but also times that with the fact that I have to work every, almost every single day and the only time I get to record is immediately when I get off of work and then sometimes I'm a little tired but I have to push through it and such. Um, and doing all this is that and third. I am busy like every single day. Hence why this show now for me technically comes out on Saturday mornings except when we get to next week because um, I will be off next Friday so I'll be able to watch it on Friday. <laughs> but um, I mean yeah like it, it is a very even till today very dominant male 
and masculine and stuff. And I have no problem with that sometimes. Like, I think at the beginning when I started and I was still just, like, this small channel of under a thousand subscribers, um, you know, trying to get to 5K and then from 5K to 10K and still being like, oh, I still think I'm a small channel with, like, my 5K subscribers or even now with, like, my almost second time to 5K with this channel, I still feel like I'm a small ass channel. And so it's interesting when you are in like a podcast group or just a group where it's pretty much like a whole bunch of guys and it's just one girl, aka me. Um, at first, I was very hesitant to join a group of guys and such and to talk about things and then plus the controversy little thing that um of the group that I was a part of and I'm not really gonna go into detail on that we I've talked about it so many freaking times and if I, I feel like if I bring it up again it's just gonna I know a lot of people are gonna be like what what do you mean um let's just say long story short there used to be an anime reactor um who did something he is no longer here he got a word or mm, sent no sent to j word is getting out i think in two years from now i believe um so i don't know if after when he comes out of j word if he's going to want to come back to this um and such but of course like everybody really doesn't like him for what he did and um to kind of not be a part of it I distanced myself I spent like two weeks with that group and then I had a weird feeling and I trusted my gut and I was like I need to go I and lo and behold you know sometimes you have to but you never really truly know now I am actually a part of another anime group of podcasts and ish and everyone who I've talked to in that group is surprisingly really sweet and nice. Um, there is no, like, a person trying to be, like, an asshole or a dick and being a jerk about it. Everyone's just really sweet. And so I felt, the first time when I did a podcast with them and such, I felt very comfortable and such. Where it's like, you know, as a female, where it's like you can be yourself but you still have to kind of put walls up because you don't know if something as female is you're going to say that might offend them or anything. Now I feel like I can say whatever the fuck I want to say on that podcast and stuff. But not <laughs> but to still be be sure like I'm not offending them or myself or anyone and such when they watch the video. But yeah, I really enjoy it. It's, it's so freaking fun. And that's one of the big reasons why I love doing YouTube and for doing it almost over, I think now seven years officially as of this year. And that'll be like later on in August. Um, it's still fucking nuts. Even with the fact that I had to start over, um, two times, two or three times, but the, the, no, it's two. Cause this is my second time. The second time was really under my thing because copyright strike and I caught it before they deleted the channel. So I was like, <laughs> I can get away with this. Um, but <laughs> yeah, even though like the guys who I, I've talked to about them with copyright strike, they had to restart channels like four, five, six times. And I'm like, bruh, like, ooh. So, and then you have me with my little old two, three and ish. But yeah, I, I understand how Futaba feels because, of course, at that time when I started, I felt that way too. There are times where I still feel that way and such because I, it's funny because I didn't realize this until like one random day um, when I was looking at my like analytics for this and stuff. This is and I've done this like a couple of times, but I was just like bored one day. My my biggest, like, people who, like, between a guy and a girl who watch, like, any of my videos are straight up guys. So, I'm like, hold up. <laughs> I'm like, do all the guys watch everything? Like, even the cutesy shit? I'm like, do y'all sit here and watch stuff when I cry and everything? I'm like, y'all must be really watching everything. But then, like, I remember when I did videos in 2016, and then it was funny, because, like, if I was showing, you know my girls and shit and so I was like okay that's another reason why y'all are following me <laughs> or if 
if I did something stupid and I didn't mean to do it and it just happened and of course like if it was like an attack on Titan reaction and it came into it they're like oh my god like <laughs> and I'm over here like bro what the fuck but yes, once again, I really, truly, truly understand how Futapa feels because, of course, we've all been there for, like, anything, especially when you're playing a sport, basketball, golf, you know, aka also fishing, anything. Like, it's truly a male dominance, and so you kind of do a little, feel a little bit embarrassed. And so, yeah, I think it's just going to take a little while for her to come out of her shell and be comfortable with the fact is that as a girl it is okay to fish i've never like even before this anime i had always thought that like fishing was just a guy thing and i was like i've never met a girl who fished but okay i'm and i'm still okay with it it's just it's taking away that norm and saying hey you know if a guy can do it a girl can fucking do it as well but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Slow Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on Friday. Next freaking Friday. Because, like I said, I won't be at work. I, I have next Friday off for episode five. Bye, guys.